Hello friends, welcome to video tuition. In this third installment of Robotium tutorial, I will explain you how Robotium can be used as Android Studio plugin for Android mobile application testing. Before continuing with this tutorial, I would like to recommend you to go through first part of Robotium tutorial which explains about the tool, its benefits and limitations if you are not familiar with the tool already. Here is the list of software and tools we would require starting working with Robotium. First and foremost thing is to make sure that we have Java and Android SDK installed on machine going to be used for testing. If not then you should be able to download both from their respective websites and install on your computer. Another point to be sure about is that environment variables for Java and Android are set in user and system variables as mentioned on screen. Robotium Recorder is available as plugins for both Eclipse and Android Studio. We have already seen how Robotium Recorder plugin for Eclipse can be used for Android mobile testing in my previous and second installment of Robotium tutorial. In this demo tutorial, we will focus on Robotium Recorder as Android Studio plugin for Android mobile automation testing. Robotium automation process can be divided into four different stages. First one is Robotium Recorder plugin installation for Android Studio which is one time activity. Second is recording mobile application test sequence using Robotium Recorder. Third is editing or modifying recorded test flow. And the last one is executing automated test against target device for mobile application. Following section of this tutorial will cover each four automation stages in detail. So let's get started with demo. Now is the time to connect Android mobile device to your computer through USB. In order to recognize mobile device by the machine, you might have to install Android mobile USB driver if not already done. Now in mobile device, go to settings, scroll down to select on developer options, select USB debugging option as selected on my mobile phone. You would also like to select stay awake option to restrict your mobile from locking during use. Just to make sure everything is set correctly on your computer go to command prompt and then type adb devices this will show you android device id if all the above settings are set correctly to install robotium recorder plugin in android studio launch android studio and start new android project in create new project window Specify application name and project location. Then keep clicking next for few screens to finish creating Android project with default values. Now when Android project is loaded, go to file, settings and then plugins. Here you click browse repositories and search for Robotium. Select a Robotium Recorder in the list and click Install Plugin. Select Yes when asked to install Robotium Recorder. When Robotium Recorder is installed, close Browse Repository window. Now on Settings window, click OK. Pop-up window will prompt for restarting Android Studio. Click restart to do so. After restarting Android Studio, Robotium Recorder can be started from Tools menu. 
accept license agreement for one time for launching Robotium recorder. For recording Robotium test, launch Robotium recorder in Android Studio from Tools menu. In Robotium recorder window, specify location of Android APK in first field and name of your test project in second. Once you are done, click next. On the next screen, click on new Robotium test. Robotium recorder will install the application on mobile device or emulator if not already installed and then launch it. When mobile application is opened in mobile device, start executing series of action or test flow manually. You will observe each action you perform in mobile app. There will be a step added in Robotium. When complete test flow is executed for mobile application, to stop further recording any sequence, click on stop recording button in Robotium window. You would like to modify recorded test script before starting with execution. Robotium recorder gives us some direct options to modify the recorded script. These options include deleting the steps not required in script, capturing application screenshot, and inserting sleep time among the test steps, which is already included in our recorded script. When editing is complete, click Save button in Robotium recorder window and specify name of test script in prompted dialog. When Robotium script editing is finished, to start test execution, click on Run Test in Robotium Recorder. Robotium script will launch the mobile application in device and execute the exact sequence we recorded before and later modified. When script execution is completed, Robotium closes application in mobile. Robotium, with the help of its recorder, has made it really simple to automate Android application test scenarios. I recommend downloading its free trial version from Robotium.com to see if Robotium meets your project or organization mobile application testing need. Thanks for your time and watching my tutorial. If the tutorial was helpful, Please hit like button and do share this video with your friends and colleagues. You would also like to visit my website and subscribe to my channel for getting the latest update. Once again, thank you.